Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to find the mean, median, and mode, and standard deviation using Excel. I've got a data set, it's about all the roads in American Samoa and it's their length. And from the data set, my assumption is that this is in feet. Um, just in case you are a CCA student and you need to access it through the MyCCA, if you go to MyCCA and you want to go to You want to go to the resource tab, scroll down and click on Office 365, and log in with your account. Once it's open, click on the Excel tab. You can open a new worksheet, and you can put your data in right there. So once you have that, this is your Excel, this is how you'll access it. Um, the Excel through 360 and the other one are fairly similar. I'm going to be using the one for my desktop, but if there's anything different, I'll go back and forth between the two to show you them. So here's my data set. So the first thing we need to do is find the mean. So you go down to your bottom of your data set. And I'm going to type in the word mean so I, I know that's what I'm finding. And you're going to hit equals and type in the word average and put in a parenthesis. And then see how I've got a little plus sign here? You're going to click on the last number and hold down and drag. Um, this is if you have a PC, if you have a Mac or another type of computer, it might be a little different. And I'll post a video on how to do that. And once you have all the data highlighted, hit enter and there's your mean. So mean is the normal average where you add everything up and divide. So now we want the median. So I'm gonna type in median so I know that's what it is. You put equals and you put median in, E-D-I-A-N, parenthesis. And again, have that little plus sign, click and drag until you have all the data highlighted and hit enter and there's our median. Again, the median is if you were to put the numbers in order from smallest to biggest and were to count out which one was in the very middle, that's the median. Next, we want the mode. You're going to type in equals mode, parenthesis, click, and highlight, and hit enter. Now, there's one issue with mode. Excel only finds one mode. Mode is the one that occurs the most frequently. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do to check to make sure there isn't another number that shows up is you're gonna click and highlight your data. So notice how I have a green box. This, the first one you click on will just have the green box around it, but it will be white, the rest will be gray. You'll highlight it and you'll go to your data button and click on this A to Z button. And now your data is in order and you can just double check and say, well, there's one, two, three, four, five zeros, and then scan to look for any other duplicates. And not just duplicates, but we want five in this case. And there aren't any, so we are okay with it. So I'm just gonna write here that we've verified that there is no other data with five. And then the last piece that we need is the standard deviation. There's two types of standard deviations that we can find in Excel. There's the population standard deviation. And that's if you have all the data for something. So in this case, this data set represents all the roads in American Samoa. But if you were to collect a sample of 50 road lengths in the United States, you'd know there are more roads and we haven't gotten them all. And so in that case, you'd have a sample, which is just some of the data. So in this case, we're gonna use the population standard deviation. So you're gonna type in equals S T D E V dot P for population, because you have everything. You click on the bottom and you drag and go up to the top and hit enter. Now, if perchance we knew that it was a sample, so this is our population, the formula is a little bit different. So the sample standard deviation, you're going to use equals STDEV dot S for sample. And you would do the same thing, click and drag and hit enter. 
And so notice the numbers are slightly different because the formula is slightly different. If you're getting the answer wrong, you might be using the wrong one. Um, so that is how you find your mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. Standard deviation helps us understand how spread out the data is. Larger standard deviations means that we have numbers ranging, in this case, from zero all the way to 6,377. So it's very spread out. If we had a smaller standard deviation, that would mean that all of our data is closer together. Uh, thank you for watching, and let me know if you have any questions about how to um, use Excel for this.